Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Trish. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. In today's video, I have a little haul for you guys of some Dior new makeup products and also some gifts that I got. And I also purchased something at the boutique, which I'm really excited to show you guys. And let's just get started with the video. So this is the first gift I got from Dior. This one you can actually purchase in the Toile de Jouy print. And this one I got for free because it was a gift. But if you want to purchase the Toile de Jouy one, I think it's like over $100 for that. Um, but I got this one with like these flowers and these leaves. It has a paper in here and it says, The ceramic diffuser can be activated with fragrance over and over again to decorate your interior and scent your home. These collectible diffusers can be hung from a door handle, in a cupboard, or on a clothes hanger. How to use a ceramic diffuser. Place a few drops of fragrance on the ceramic to activate the gradual, subtle diffusion of the scent. Add more fragrance whenever you wish, or roughly every three months. And it comes with four of these ceramic diffusers. I already have one hanging at my uh, makeup vanity. Uh, it's basically just like the little... Um, I have no idea what kind of flower this is, but it's a flower and there's four of it. So I thought it was a really nice gift. And thank you to Dior and my essay Nadia at the Shops at Crystals, Dior. Um, so that's the first gift. And now moving on to what I purchased. And I did upload a photo already of asking you guys what you think I got. A lot of you guys said a t-shirt, sweater, a wallet, and a bracelet. But it is none of that, you guys actually you're gonna say I'm crazy for buying this but I really love Toile de G print so I got two Toile de G notebooks this one I think this is 65 and this is 55 USD and these are both the red one to match my purse um, so yeah it has the Dior logo there and the same Toile de G print and also on the inside the first page and the back page but on the inside it has the little Dior wording on the bottom right here, and you even have the little um, like thing to place where you want your page to leave off, I guess. You can use it as a journal if you want or whatever, but I don't think I'll be writing in these. Um, probably for decoration, also taking photos for Instagram. But yeah, don't be bad at me for buying this. I love Toile de Jouy design. Um, yeah, it's just my favorite design of all time, like so far that Dior has made. I love the lion, the tiger, the snake, and yeah, I got two of these. Now moving on to makeup. I'm showing you guys the makeup bags that I received first. So this one was actually a while ago, but I still want to show you guys the makeup bag. This one is kind of like pat patent. Uh, it's purple ombre, has the Dior wording right here, and then I have a CD little keychain, like charm, I guess on the makeup bag and then this time I got the same one but it's in black and I really love like it's patent and has the star too I love stars and then the next makeup bag which was not supposed to be for this time but she the worker also gave us another pouch so this is the Joy Dior makeup pouch and I love it has the star right here as well um, it smells so good she sprayed perfume on it and I think this makeup bag is supposed to be for the new perfume, which is the Joy Intense. I do have the regular Joy, but now they come off the Tense, which is most likely stronger. That's why it's called Intense. I haven't uh, smelled it yet, but I'm sure it smells really good. And then I also got this little uh, lipstick sample. It has the uh, lip glow and a lip maximizer in 001 Pink and 006 Berry. And now moving on to Dior's new makeup. This first one is the Dior um, crayon and it's you don't have to sharpen it which I love that all you have to do is just um, spin it so it goes up and then back down and this one is like a burgundy red I would say and I'll swatch it for you guys so here is the red Here's the new Dior blush and this one is in 783 This is what it looks like. So I don't know why my camera turned off on me. It has been doing that lately. Uh, I blended the blush out and here is the blush. And it is quite pink. So I would definitely only apply a little bit on your cheeks and then blend it all out. The final makeup is eyeshadow. And I got the 517 eyeshadow. 
so here are the swatches these five shades here so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time bye